Hello Zesties, welcome back. So this is where we left off yesterday. I was smushed by this boulder, giant boulder. Actually not this one, the one in the next room and it wasn't very pleasant. So I saved right here and I killed the hunters again, took that crank. Technically it's called crank. I, uh, I call it lever, just I don't know why, it's just I see it as a lever but it's a crank. Um, so yeah, we're gonna continue from here. Um, I don't remember how I avoided that boulder. I think, okay, let's just have a quick look. I think I have to run real quick and go here. Like as quick as I can. Or, wait, let me see. There's nothing here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was able to avoid it. And if my voice sounds a bit... Um, I don't know, if it cuts off sometimes, I think my my cheap headphones are kind of getting... Like, losing it right now, so... Unfortunately, I will... Um, it will happen for the next walkthrough, but... I am buying a new one. And a microphone as well, so my voice is really clear um i really don't want to keep on using this i sound like somebody who works at walmart or like a walk like a, like somebody who speaks through the microphone and that's just um uh, not efficient um all of this just for some shotgun shells ah so stupid <laughs> okay um I think I'm gonna empty... Should I empty my inventory? Yes, I should. Because I think there is... Um, um, should I say what the, what's in there? Or should I let you see what's in there? Well, anyways, a lot of you actually knows that I've played this game before. So there is, I think, a, a giant... Gi not a giant. A ginormous tarantula. I think that's why they gave me this. Um... I think that I will need my shotgun. That's probably why. And I will keep this one as well. I will need this one for sure. I'm going to keep this for a second. And maybe take another one. Because who knows? I might get killed. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's this one. Um, let's just combine. Okay. Okay. So, this underground area reminds me of Resident Evil 7 underground area. It wasn't my favorite just because there was so many... So, these uh, uh, liquor lookalikes, the creatures that crawl down, that they're very... that actually mu are much quicker than liquors I don't like them I feel like I wish that they put some liquors in Resident Evil 7 um, I mean and they're very difficult to kill because the head is so small and if you miss it you need you will lose a lot of ammo in order to kill yes I think you are the queen Oh no! Dang it! Shit, I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Let's take this. Let's just use the shotgun. Oh, is it dead? I think there's one or two more. Dang it. I'm poisoned. I think there's one more. I don't know why I feel there's one more. Okay. Let's just take... Oh, okay. For... But I do have a knife. Okay. 
I see you. You piece of shit. I knew you were here. Unless you come in. I am not gonna surrender. Is it dead? Yes. Let me squish you, babies. So I think these babies grow up to be like that. I don't know, I'm assuming. Um, so let's just use the knife. Was it this door? Yeah. Okay. Uh, should I go? I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I feel like... Okay, let's just equip this one just in case. I don't know what's in there. I really forgot. And I don't know if I'm going to face a hunter. Probably there's more hunters, but I don't remember where and when. It's been a while, so... Oh, what is that area? Ooh, look at those. Okay, let's just pick up a few of these and then I really want to save. I'm really tempted to save just because I, I don't want to redo all that. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Okay. Um, I think there would be hunters and more enemies. So I... I don't have enough space and I do I need them the knife again or do I not need the knife you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go back um, I'm not gonna save I'm gonna take that risk uh, but I'm gonna equip myself very well See, this is the type of risk that we're missing from the new games. Um, the new games are just, when it comes to saving, technically are much easier. Which is something I don't necessarily appreciate. I feel like um, if they remove the autosave, it would be much better I don't know uh, let's just put this one here do I need this again I don't know if there's gonna be more tarantulas I believe there isn't more but they gave me these so there should be more um, do I need that many um, conflicted I really don't know okay I think those two are not enough technically um, but I need to use them eventually. I'm gonna risk putting the knife away. I think I might not need it, need it again. Um, I'm gonna keep the shotgun with me. And honestly, I want to use that shotgun because there is some ammo in there that I did not use yet. Which, I have a lot more in here. So I'm gonna put this one away just for now, just to use it for now, and then I'll I'll be back. So let's do that. Wait, let's just equip a regular, actually I'll just equip this one, because I don't know what's gonna happen. And that red area, I'm gonna go back to it, because there's a boulder there. I don't know if that boulder will also fall on me. I think I need to remove the boulder in, in order for me to go get through. After I save, from playing for a while I might do that and go back there because it's not an urgent thing and I wonder if I put the shotgun here what would happen you know what I'm just curious so this area I can put a shotgun and I do have a broken one so if I put it here will something happen I don't remember uh, if I did or not because I feel like I do have the broken one still. Or I could be wrong. Okay, let's just go back. 
I don't know why. I feel like I still have the broken one. So that's the assault shotgun. Where's the broken one? Hmm. I think I used it. Yeah, otherwise I would have became a Jill sandwich a long time ago, so... The funny thing is about this meme is that there are so many areas that you can become a Jill sandwich. One of them is being crushed by that boulder and being crushed by the statue puzzle um, in the castle. A castle, what do I call it? Castle mansion, sorry. It's not a castle. But um, it's, uh, it's an ongoing uh, meme and I now I understand fully why and it's completely understandable so no wonder they call her a gel sandwich because there's so many ways she would have became a gel sandwich um, even in the remake she was gonna, going to get crushed by the Resident Evil 3 remake she was going to get crushed by the, a boulder it's not a boulder it was like a, a restaurant like a statue or something and but it was circle so I assume it was a boulder. So there is nothing here. Um, maybe a hunter would come. I don't know. I don't trust people. You see, what should I put in here? Okay, let's just go. I might get a, another broken shotgun eventually. Hopefully, maybe. Is there anybody? Hunters? Hunters? Is there hunters? Oh, I think I need the crank. Dang it. Okay, I need the hexacon crank. Oh, I hate this. Why didn't I think of getting it? I'm just gonna go back. That sucks. That's one other struggle that... I believe 8 doesn't have, which is probably um, space, compared to classic Resident Evil games and especially 0 and 1, you have a ton of space. You have like ginormous space because you can also keep things that you can sell and food and all that and I feel like that I mean, that does overcomplicate the game, but at the same time, that kind of makes it easier for people to to play. Um, I mean, it's difficult in different ways, so I prefer space. I don't care about that. I want more space. I feel like it's fair if I get more space. At least two more, please. But that's not possible, so not in one and zero. Is that the hexagon? It says hexagon, right? Okay, I don't have space. I'm just gonna risk putting that back because I really need at least two and still I feel two is still too little. Oh God, I hate this. Okay, let's do that. What if I die? I have trust issues right here. However, I'm not against checkpoints if they are um, programmed in the game fairly and conservatively. Because sometimes you need that a little bit of extra support and push and I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like if auto saves like every I don't know, every event happens, it auto saves right away or every, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. I think that's t like taking it too far and it, I don't know, it kind of makes the game seem easier, even though if it's not. That's actually, I don't, I really don't know if I can save in Resident Evil 8. I believe you can manually, but there's so much auto save that I feel like it takes the um, value of save and trying not to die and all that so yeah I don't know maybe it's just my opinion but I feel like they can just make it checkpoint one in each chapter or something like that 
and should be in the middle after a major event. I don't want to redo stuff. Okay. I think I'm going to have to... Wait, what's in here? I think I have to do that again. Yeah. And maybe even one more time. Oh, it's going to follow me. All right, that was so close. <laughs> oh my god, I I did not enjoy that. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, did it block the way going back? I don't know. Maybe it did. Just gonna have a look there and see. And I think there's a huge puzzle right there that I really like, or I would really enjoy. Um, let's just examine this. Yep. Okay. Got it. Ooh, okay. I don't know if I'm ready to go there. I'm just I think I'm gonna risk it and go just because I'm here. So whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Let's have a look here. Okay. Oh my god. So this one keeps on moving. Uh, what is in here? What is that? The goddess statue smiles silently back at you. Okay. Can I move it? Ah. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to move this. Okay, let's just try something here. Uh huh. Okay, I don't remember how I did this, but I think I can figure it out. I'm gonna push this one all the way. Uh, I don't know. Yes, I kind of know. You know what? Let's just keep on pushing. We need to rotate that. Let's just close that again. Um, no. Why? You need to be exactly here. Give it one more push. Not you, Jill. The statue. <laughs> I think she's enjoying it. Okay. Let's do that then. That's the soundtrack of the lab, I call it. Kind of enjoy it. I'm going to use it again, actually. Yes. We need to rotate it and put it back. Um, and then something comes up or you pick up something. Uh, so. One, two, three, and then let's push it all the way here. Okay, I think I need to rot it, rotate it again. So I'm going to push it back and push it back again. Not you, Jill. <laughs> and then push it back again. Yes! That's what I want. Then I will have to push her that way. Alright, please, 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 please. Very close. No. 
yes and that's the head of the um that puzzle stone piece and i think there's gonna be hunters right now because they don't give you anything for free why would they it's resident evil <laughs> obviously so uh let's just go work i don't know and we need to solve that stupid puzzle right now um why do I call it stupid? Because I'm gonna face some enemies right now trying to solve that puzzle and I don't want to do that but unfortunately bring it on bring it on okay there's nobody here I'm gonna keep on saying bring it on because I'm too terrified at this moment too scared just checking something give me one second Okay. Okay. Hunters? No hunters? I feel like because I'm saying hunters all the time, they're gonna come up, come in just because I'm calling them out. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like hunters. And they are much more terrifying in Resident Evil. They, they did an amazing job with the animation of the hunters. Because here they seem like they are your height almost. They're not that tall. But the animated ones in Resident Evil 3, the remake, are scary, like terrifying. Uh, I think I'm gonna put this back. I don't know. I'm tempted to save. I just need to solve that puzzle first. But what if some something comes up and attacks me? And I die. Wait, let's just combine them together. Okay. Examine. I feel like it was... Let's just... Yes. Until they match, you just rotate them and then you go and put back and put that piece back in. I really don't know if I'm going to go back here or not. And if the resources I have are enough. Oh god, it's all a risk. Let's just risk it. Whatever. If I die, I don't know. Okay. I mean, this, nothing's gonna happen. I'm just gonna put it in its place and I think I'm gonna save. And I think I'm gonna get more increments anyway, so. Not a biggie for me. All right. No, not here. Here. Yes. And there's something as well missing about this puzzle that I will need to do, including putting that piece. I really don't remember what it was, but let's see. There's the flashing buttons. Press on. Press one. Uh, yes. Oh, I kind of forgot. It was... Four. Was it two? Three. One. Yes, it was the right one. And I think it's Barry. Is Barry here? Okay, that's fair. There's either going to be a cutscene right now, or I think I'm going to go back and save. Yeah, because I'm going down, I definitely will go back and save. Um, I'm not risking dying down, down there and repeating all of what I did since the beginning. It's a bit too risky for me, so... Yeah. And I want to see what's with that boulder right there. I might want to move it after I save right now and see if I can move it or not because I couldn't the first time which was a bit weird but maybe I need to go through some certain events in order for me to move it I don't know I'm just guessing or maybe it shouldn't move at all 
Um, I don't have enough ink ribbons, but I will get three more, I believe, real soon or downstairs. So let's just do that. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I'm always getting more, so it's not a big deal for me. So we are at courtyard B1. That's the area. And I think there's going to be uh, the downstairs ones, B2, or just B, probably. Okay, let's just put these back. And mm, I'm contemplating, should I? I'm going to keep these, all of these with me because, honestly, I might need that crank. The first crank I ever saw in a Resident Evil game was in 7. And it was going to the old house to Marguerite's area. She was the worst bitch that I ever fought. Ooh, I think that's Barry. Okay. So this one is not moving now. I believe it, it is going to move at some point, but maybe not now. When exactly, I have no idea. But when it crushes me and I still and I didn't save, I'm not going to appreciate that at all. So, yep. Let's just go downstairs. And I think... All right, fingers crossed. We can do this. Jill! Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. The noise I heard brought me down here. Expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. All right, let's just have a look here. Lisa. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. Really, Barry? You want me to go? And you're staying safe here? I don't think so. But unfortunately, I have no choice but to go. So I'm going to go and see what's in there. I don't know if I remember everything, but we'll just have a look. Um, okay. We are, we don't have a map, so we have this area and we, wait a second. I'll stay and secure our escape route. Really? You're gonna escape, secure our escape route or your escape route? Okay, a pile of sandbags. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Actually, I want to combine this one here. And... Uh, put this away because I might combine it with others as I get more. What else? I will keep this. I will keep this. All right. Let's just check what's in here. So there's nothing here. Area still red, something I didn't pick up yet. Let's just click. Oh, okay, I see. So there's nothing here. I'm gonna have to go back up. Okay. I'm just gonna go back. Uh, 
don't know where to go. I think I'm gonna have to go to the other side and meet the beautiful girl. Is there something I can push right here? No, not really. Let's go there and meet the pretty, pretty girl that is gonna try to protect herself. Okay. Dang it, I don't know where is she. Okay, she's here. She's on the other side. I can't. She is behind me. Let's take those because we'll need them. Because she is a strong ass bitch. Should I make the strongest medicine or should I make two strong ones? Ah, uh, wait. Okay, two strong ones. Dang it. I don't know where am I. Hello, Lisa. Hello, pretty girl. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> yes. I really don't know where I'm going. Yes, I need to go there. Um, yeah, I think yeah, that's Lisa. That she was in the old house just before that and she is the girl that the daughter of the man who built that house uh, George Trevor and she's Lisa Trevor and I think her mom I forgot the name of her mom yes 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 so many goodies here I think I have one job to do here but I just forgot what it was oh I think yeah the area is green let's just see what I'm here for. Oh, okay, I see. And then I'm gonna go back, and then the shotgun I can bring. Oh, no, 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 not too far. Okay. Then we need to run. We might get smacked on the way. That's normal. That's okay. Yes. Yes. There you go. I'm just wondering what is a broken shotgun doing in a new box like that? It's just... It doesn't make sense, but who knows. And now we need to get through Lisa. And she's gonna smack me. I just feel like I'm gonna get smacked. But who knows. Hopefully not. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. It's the camera angles that actually makes you make these mistakes and get hit that's the problem and I think I like that kind of challenge in this game um, it's frustrating sometimes but I feel like it's necessary Gary. yeah that's what you get for trusting people no she, she doesn't, doesn't deserve this but how can she know that her comrade is gonna do that to her Right? Uh, so what are we gonna do? Oh, no, 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 no. 
wait no I think from the other side I'm gonna have to push that one I think that was one box so there's nothing else I can get out of that room other than the box If any of you have watched the newest Resident Evil game, which is Welcome to Raccoon City, and saw how offensive it is, they literally disrespected Lisa and made her as intelligent as everyone else. It's like she hasn't suffered or got affected by anything, which was very offensive, even for me to watch. So I think there's a regular shotgun, but because we broke it like that, it became a broken shotgun which it makes sense um let's uh ooh, i don't know what to do i think my inventory is full i need to go upstairs upstairs sorry upstairs and empty my inventory take that gun I really am tempted to save. I don't know if Lisa's gonna kill me. I think I have enough medicine for me not to get killed. So, can we just put all of these together? Wait, let me just, and I, I just wanna put all these together because they're kind of frustrating me at this point. I'm gonna put this back. I think I have space right now. Um, do I need more space? I think I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna use just one of those. That should be fair. What else? Yeah, I'm tempted to save, but I'm not gonna save. Um, just because I just saved and I only have three increments. I believe I've been recording for like at least 30 minutes. Maybe after solving that puzzle, I'm gonna end this playthrough and start a new one I realize the shorter the playthroughs the better people enjoy watching shorter ones anyway so what do you guys think do you like longer playthroughs or shorter ones or do you like just the sweet spot in between like 40 minutes is like the range of the medium I would say why did I go up oh yeah I need to go to Lisa So I kind of forgot how I... Wait, let me just examine. So it's a flamethrower. It's not a shotgun. But anyways, I mean, you guys get the hint. Uh, I think it's going to give me a key or it's going to open a door for me. Oh god, I don't know how, to, how I did this. I really forgot. My memory is like very wobbly. Okay. Oh no. I wouldn't blame her. If I were in her place, I would do the same. I just don't remember where it was. Shit. Oh, it was next to that door. Oh. Yes. Am I going the right way? No, 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 no. It's too late. Yes. I believe there's another one, but I forgot where it was. Oh, where is that? Take me. Oh my god. Wow. The desk is cluttered with old beat up dolls and used candles. Oh my goodness. This area reminds me of um, the demo of Resident Evil 8, where before you go down to the dungeon, 
or you get out of the dungeon from the basement, you see candles and dolls like that. Oh my god. They took inspiration from Resident Evil 1. That is so awesome. That is so amazing. See, I like gaming like games like that because it takes inspiration from the classic ones and that's actually that's mind blowing to me. I'm I'm in shock right now. I totally forgot about this area and I feel like I appreciate it million times more than I used to so thank you Capcom for doing this oh my god okay I don't know maybe I'm over exaggerating but I feel like it's more it means very meaningful the fire has died out but it shows signs of use a huge collection of various kinds of dolls they're all faded and worn a huge collection of various okay Okay. Oh, no, 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 says Lisa oh my god stone ring yeah that's the way downstairs from the mansion a family picture and notes there's something written on the back November 10 1967 that's Lisa and her mom and dad progenitor virus administered Jessica administered virus type A pal pal Plasmolizing of tissue during cell activation, virus fusion negative action disposed. Oh my god, that's so sad. That's how her mom died. Lisa administered uh, virus type B, plasmolizing of tissue during cell activation, virus fusion positive but delayed fusion. Body modification. Observed constant result status continued protective observation. George, action terminated November 30th. Oh, 1967. That is so sad. There's a journal left by someone. November 15, 1967. I feel dizzy after the, the, that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape? alone and leave me behind oh my god she thinks that her mom left her okay november 15 1967 i found mom we ate together i was very happy but she was a fake not my real mom same face but different inside i have to find mom have to give face back to mother i got mom's face back nobody can have my mom except me i attach her face to me so she doesn't go away because mom's sad when i meet her without her face november 17 1967 i believe from inside box sent of mom mommy maybe true mother there stone box hard it hurts steel rope in the way can't see mother because four stones Oh, that's so sad. I think that's Lisa's bed. Still warm. Somebody was here. Lisa. If she wanted to kill me, she could have attacked me. That is so sad, what they did to her family. Any employee who worked at Umbrella suffered the same result in the end, which is the saddest thing that happens to those people who actually trusted and believe the Spencer Mansion, Spencer family.
I don't know where that takes me, um, but I have high hopes. I think I'm gonna end this gameplay right here after I save. I think it's gonna take me back to the mansion. I hope so at least, or it takes me back upstairs. Oh my god, that's Lisa's room. Poor girl. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna save right here. Wait, where, how, how should I save? Oh, okay, right here. <laughs> I'm gonna save right here, and then I'm gonna go back, um, play the gameplay. I think number 12 will be up by tomorrow or the day after. Probably tomorrow. Because I'm almost done with this game. Well, technically not. Just because there's the lab. And the lab is like a whole nother kind of chapter. But we're really close. We're like 70%, 80% I would say done with this game. But I really enjoyed playing it. I mean, it was very refreshing. And it was a completely different experience. Um, experiencing those um, um, hunters attacking me and getting scared by unexpected events that I actually experienced before but I totally forgot about so Lisa's not here actually she's down there I don't know how she went down there did she use that like um ladder or did she go a different way that's very interesting I'm interested to know what do you guys think all right yes so it was lovely, lovely having you Zesties watching me play. I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I wish that my voice sounds good. I hope so at least. And if you really like this gameplay, please share, subscribe, and like this video. And I'll see you in the next gameplay. Bye!